Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Learn Web Coding. My name is Durgesh Sahani. I am here with a new series of video tutorials where we will be learning CRUD operation in React using PHP API and MySQL database. In this whole video series, we are going to learn how to install Node.js and NPM, which is dependency to work with React, then how to create React application, then we will learn how to create links and set up routing in React.js, then how to create components uh, in React.js, we will create list, create, update uh, component into React. Then we will see how to create database in MySQL. And finally, we will write APIs in PHP, which will support gate, post, put and delete method. And this is how we will complete our CRUD applications. So let's start by installing this Node.js and NPM. This is the official website of React.js. And uh, what is React.js here? You can see it's a JavaScript library for building user interfaces. Um, it is declarative, which means you can create a component and it will maintain the uh, state of each and every component separately. Uh, it is component based again, like you can create individual component and again, you can encapsulate it into a single and it will maintain the state of each and every individual components. So you don't need to be worried about then learn once and write everywhere. So which means like you can also use a uh, react native for if you know how to use react just for building web application with a similar way, you can also learn how to create native application for Android. <clears throat> so uh, let's, uh, let's see how we can actually use it. So there are two ways. Basically, you can use your uh, uh, in your website use react JS. one is uh, just by using like a CDN or uh, download this file into your local machine and uh, just link it through script and uh, finally you can just create a component and start using it. So this is the very easiest way. And the second way is uh, creating a React application. This is what we are going to learn. So here if you see it, it is having a dependency of Node.js and NPM. If you have then only you will be able to create uh, React applications. So let's go ahead and uh, open the command prompt and start using installing this. And if you go to the official website of Node.js, so uh, this is the latest version. You can see it is 16 and uh, latest one actually 17, but they're recommending to use this um, 16 because this is the most stable version. And you can see here, at least we should be uh, using node 14 and greater and NPM 5.6 and greater. Okay. So here, uh, either you can just download if you are in windows or depending on the operating system you have, you can download your uh, respective one or even you can use if you are on Mac or Linux, you can also use command line. So in my case, I'm going to use command line tool and uh, to install it on uh, Mac machine, we will be needing a uh, home view. So I'm just going to uh, install home view. So this is the site for home view and uh, I'm just going to use this first. It will install Homebrew on my machine. And with the help of this, I can uh, simply install any package uh, into my Mac machine. So let it finish. So Homebrew is installed now on my machine. Now I'm going to do just, let's see what is the version. Okay, if you're getting this message, just export it and then try once again, and you'll be seeing that the home brew is installed into your machine. Okay, now the next thing is we have to install um, Node.js. For that, we have to just say brew install Node.js. It will look for this package and install it into your machine. So let it finish. Okay, so you can see here Node.js is installed in my machine. Now let's quickly verify Node version and NPM version. So as you can see, we are on latest version of Node.js 17 and NPM is 8.3, which is satisfying this condition. Now we can create application, React application by using npx command. Okay, so let's go here and uh, 
I'm here right now. So I'm just going to maybe documents. And learn web coding. Here I'm just simply going to use npx command sorry npx command and then uh, as you can see the command is create create react app okay so you have to type create react app and then your app name so in our case i'm just going to say react crud yes creating new react application as you can see and uh, after that it is also installing few packages for us like react react dom react script um CRA template so all these packages will also get installed along with the package creation so i'm going to pause for a few second okay so this is about to finish and as you can see these many packages have been added and it is saying that if you want to um, start the application you have to say npm start and all these other commands so what we have to do is it is also recommending uh, what we can do so just say cd react crud go inside and then say npm start so you will be seeing that yes here we will be having our node.js uh, server running and our react.js application is started now okay so this is the very simple step we have uh, just did to create react application now let's see uh, let's go to the new tab and say code open it into visual studio code okay so here if you see it have downloaded all the packages here and uh, then here we have <clears throat> public directory let me just zoom it out a little bit okay and then it have uh, src this is the important uh, directory for us right now here it have created a basic uh, this is the important file which is main index.js file it is running all the application from here and it have app um, component and this app component is here and basically this is rendering all these things uh, you're seeing these messages the link and few other file which we don't need then the package package or json package or json file which is having all the packages here <clears throat> and if you wanted to install any new you have to just add one entry here and then you will be able to uh, use any new package you want so uh, let's make few changes here and see whether uh, we are able to make any changes um, so if you see here, I'm just going to remove everything and say hello react, save the file, go to the browser and as you can see the hello react got updated. Um, so this is it for this video. In the next session, I'll be showing you how to set up the routing and link into react application. Thanks again for watching.